Okay, so I got a little more light coming from the outside here. This is what we'll see. Okay, yeah, you can see the table and me pretty well. Okay, so let's get the uh, video projection going. Okay, this is the 1913 video shooting range test, also known as possibly the first video game or the first video or the first game to utilize full motion film and video. Uh, I have a Daisy Red Rider BB gun, the projection screen with a movie that I will be using to play. Um, basically, the movie plays and then it stops at a certain point where I'm supposed to shoot. I take a shot. It then shows me what the points would be. The screen darkens and then I use the backlight to see where I hit. I mark down my score and continue on. So, uh, making sure that this is rolling because I'm hopefully going to try to do this in the first try. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see how things go. Okay, I took the first shot. Let's see how I did. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, it says chest 20 points. I got them right in the chest right there as the backlight shows. Okay, so I will mark down my 20 points. Now at this point in time, the operator would move this down. So you can see the next shot. Okay, there we load. Turn off the backlight and continue on. see where I hit. Looks like I hit him in the back. Okay, moving on. So I got 20 points that time. Moving the paper down. Another 20 points. Man, I can't get headshots today. Maybe I'm just nervous that I'm recording. Okay. Going to the next one. That's actually a miss. I got him right by the neck, but I did not get him. So I got zero points on that. I mean, I got pretty close. I got him right here. I mean, if I move the paper a little bit, uh, it's still the hack. <laughs> if, I was a car if I was a carnival operator, I would not have counted that. Okay, another chest, 20. So actually, let me take a moment to show you how I'm seeing the hits, because I know that's pretty hard to see here. So you can see that's the bullet right there. Now if I turn off the backlight, it's very difficult to see which is why you need that backlight, whether it's a color light or even just a normal bulb, which I can actually see it from back here, but I know probably you guys can't. OK, 
Okay, rolling it down to the next one. Got him right in the head. All right, 40 points. All right, so this carnival game had five times to shoot. I got 20, 20, zero, 20, and 40. So I got 100 points, wait, 2, 4, 6, 4, 4, yeah, okay, I got, a, I got 100 points the first time ever playing this game. So, and just to show you guys how this was constructed, keep in mind, if you have an operator, they can stand off to the side and roll down the paper between each round and each play. Uh, so you don't have to pause, move the paper, pause, move the paper like I had to. But generally speaking, there would be an operator behind the scenes with a curtain or some type of pulley system to roll down the paper. And then they would shine the light when they needed to so points could be marked. And also keep in mind in 1913 it would have been a silent black and white film. Uh, whereas I decided to go color and sound and a couple of graphics on the screen so you know where to shoot. And yeah, so this is the shooting range game that they had in 1913. A lot of historians deem it the first video game. Um, I really don't deem it the first video game. It's the first game to use video or film. But uh, yeah, it was just a fun little project to uh, construct this and make the video and pull out the old Red Rider BB gun and uh, give it a try. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will of course leave a, I, I will of course also post the video I use, that way if you want to construct your own and try it out yourself, you can.